Hey everyone, Mike from Bound for Freedom here. Today we wrapped, almost wrapped up, the fridge round, so let's show you that. But before, garage is a mess, I do apologize. I am not a carpenter, don't pretend to be one. Uh, my grandpa was one, I'm not. Um, I mess around more with metal. Wood, eh, not so good. Anyways, got a lot of extra, we're gonna work on that. So let's take a peek. Again, rough. When I say rough, I mean rough, so don't judge me. Well, judge me, but silently. You can post in comments, but uh, nevertheless. Let's open it up. So the refrigerator that we're running is going to be the Dometic. This is the CFX3, uh, or yeah, CFX3, 75 dual zone. Really super excited about this. Um, and then I've built my own surround using three quarter inch uh, red oak and this is here is just traditional sanded plywood um, basically cut this out really rough and kind of gave me a base um, the second row will be complete eventually um, but until another child emerges this will probably stay just like this um, eventually when we get back from our honeymoon we will be building an additional drawer setup. I'm thinking probably one big drawer and then on the bottom doing a cutting board and stove that will pull out. I think that's kind of the goal. Um, over here, I'll go ahead and install. Just haven't got a chance to do it. I need to go buy them. But basically D-rings, I'm going to do six of them up top. And that's where I'm going to be storing my gear bag. And I've reinforced it with some L-brackets. Got six of them in total supporting the roof. Um, and on the back side, we're actually going to be installing a an additional back. But I'm going to be putting vents and a cable pass through. That way the wires aren't getting snagged on the wood. And it has plenty of ventilation. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to be adding probably fans to the back. Um, that'll have probably pulse on. Or just turn on automatically whenever the fridge is running. So we'll see how that goes. But really excited that the accessory panel that... You saw in one of my other videos is working, still have access, still have good access in here. Um, still can get to my first aid kit. And of course we're plugged in. I have the um, AC cord now really quickly for those that don't know. Um, with the Dometic, the newer series, you can't run the AC and DC at the same time. So basically what I'll do is I'll switch this off, plug this in, and then that's gonna allow the fridge to run efficiently. Let's say right before the trip, I'll plug it in, get it to temperature overnight. And then when we take off, literally just unplug it, turn the switch on, and we're good to go. Apparently, if you do it at the same time, it backfeeds electricity and it burns down. So we don't want that. Um, they put a sticker on it, which is really nice of them, uh, saying, don't do that. Um, overall, I'm really excited about it. Let's open it up. Let's take a peek. I'm using a heavy-duty locking sliders. Uh, I think these are rated at 500 pounds. Now, one thing I do love is, as you can see, it's in the driveway here, is normally this would slam, but this is locking in and locking out. So I'm really excited how that worked out um, and still has something that's going to be nice and sturdy. Almost touching the tailgate. Yeah, perfect. You could see all the light through there. So honestly, the measurements came out fairly good. So I'm pretty happy with it. The fridge, honestly, love this damn thing. Um, haven't really actually got a full use out of it um but we will be there here shortly um overall the only thing i'm going to be missing out of here is going to be the case and uh yeah airb straps this was just cheaper than honestly making them um came with all the hardware and then used um, a canoe strap in order to go ahead and use it as a pull this is just a two inch angle iron over here is going to be three inch angle iron all aluminum I don't weld aluminum. Um, I probably will have this welded by a couple of friends. Um, but until then, it's riveted together. You can make this yourself a couple of hours with a uh, metal saw and a rivet gun. And boom, you have this. So super easy. Now, this is dual zone. So we have our freezer, freezer or fridge. And in here, oh, what do we got? <laughs> yeah trash can beer it's cold though which is good uh, i normally don't drink uh, coors light it's not my favorite but that's what we had so we're gonna go ahead and celebrate a halfway job well done i uh, 
I used to drink this stuff back in the day. I don't mess with it anymore. I don't really understand how people drink this. This is the Rocky Mountain Piss. I'll probably get a lot of hate for that. Um, I'm not much better. I like um, Bud Light um, or Miller Light or pretty much any other beer outside of Coors, but that's what I've got. So, hey, beggars can't be choosers. Overall, super excited about this. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, comments, whatever the case may be, go ahead and post them down below. If this is your first time watching the channel, please give it a like and subscribe. Um, I'll put out more content, especially with our honeymoon up to Yellowstone coming up. So I'll hopefully get some images posted. Follow us on Instagram as well at bound-for-freedom. Um, yeah, and we'll post as much content as we can. But yeah, absolutely. You guys can make this. I'm less than $300 into this. And it is a great little fun project, testing out my woodworking ability. And overall, super excited. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you guys are all well. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.